this has really just been one of those days. One of those days. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I feel like I have not vlogged in forever even though it was just last week. So today was freshman first day. So this is um, a day in our high school where just the freshmen, the first or the ninth grade students come in and they kind of get the lay of the land. They get their special activities dedicated for them. I'm pretty sure we provide lunch. They run through their schedule, their list of classes. The day is all about them. Um, for me, I had quite a day today and some crazy things happened before I even got to work. So I would, got up early and I felt really organized and like refreshed and I got a lot of sleep last night and there was just, I bullet journaled in the morning and I got up early at 525 and fed my dogs and everything was going great. And then I went to get ready. I could not find my wedding rings. So, and I, I don't know where they were. So I always keep them in the same dish next to my vanity, next to like my makeup supplies and my mirror, and they weren't there. And I can't explain how they weren't there. I remember taking them off and putting them in that, um, that container the day before when I was vacuuming and cleaning. And I usually take them off to clean and I put on my silicon ring my silicon quaalie rings on that way if they get dirty I hit them or whatever it's just the silicon that I paid like 10 bucks for and not my real diamond ring so anyway I got there you know or I was getting ready and I went to grab my rings and they weren't there so I went and checked my other ring dish which is by the sink in the kitchen Sometimes I take my rings off when I'm doing dishes and they weren't there either. So at this point I'm freaking out because I never put them anywhere else. I, I try to, I know that I can be forgetful sometimes. So I, in that like specific habit, I always put them in a ring dish because they're way too valuable to just be throwing around like a pair of glasses even. Um, so I was freaking out and by this point I woke up my husband and we were just running around the house crazy trying to find my wedding rings and I couldn't find them. I turned the house upside down 6 a.m. when I'm supposed to be getting ready to leave for work. I left for work late. I got here. Um, I got here late. I was like calling people and no one was answering because they were actually doing their job and and helping the the ninth graders <laughs> orient themselves already and it was just so awful and I was speeding. And there was all these police officers and I could have gotten pulled over but I didn't so Anyway, I was texting everyone about it and I was texting my mom and she was like, hey, did you want me to come over and see if I could use a, if you could use a second set of eyes and maybe I'd find them, right? And so I was like praying to God that I could find these wedding rings and sure enough, she found them. And I cannot believe that they were in the little garbage can next to my vanity. How they got there, I have no idea why I would throw away wedding rings. I still haven't ruled out the possibility that I sleepwalk in the middle of the night and I move them. But that that's to be determined, I guess. Um, I haven't, I am a sleepwalker, but I have not sleptwalked since uh, I moved in my new house with my husband. Uh, but sometimes I do when I'm really stressed, but I don't know if I would have or not. I know my, my husband doesn't wake up for anything, so I guess I could have slept walk in the middle of the night without him knowing, but I don't know. So that's how I started my day, already late, sweating. It feels like the air conditioner stopped working in this building, even though it didn't. It's just like the first week of school heat that always happens in our building. Um, but yeah, that's how I started, and I was so upset because yesterday I planned out everything to get organized so that I wouldn't be rushing on my first day of school, but here I am, still stressed. And that's my story of how stressful the first day of school was. Uh, I did not actually get to teach any of my classes, so I don't teach ninth graders, so I just had an academic homeroom, so I kind of got the students acclimated to their schedules and I showed them a map of the school and things like that, and I'm their resource for any questions that they might have throughout the first week and 
um, kind of like their home base in a way. The funny thing about freshman day was that in the schedule that we were given there was it was said that there was 30 that we had 30 minutes in our room with these with these students for academic homeroom and we distribute their schedules and maybe do like a quick little icebreaker if we had time and then get them kind of rolling on to the next thing and of course like every year they dismissed from the auditorium in the morning an hour early so we had these students for an hour and a half almost like a full class period and nothing was in the agenda. Luckily, I kind of thought that this was gonna happen because this happens every year. And I had already planned an activity, kind of, and it was like this cute little ice cream cone where they fill in their things about them in the little scoops and they put their name on the cone and they color it and cut it out and glue it onto a colored piece of paper. Those turned out really cute and some of them didn't finish it and since we have academic homeroom this whole week I'm probably gonna have them finish it tomorrow and I'll probably laminate it and put it up but I, I really feel like like you know that uh, that meme that Bear Grylls meme it's like improvise adapt overcome that's that's if if teachers could be summed up in three words it's Bear Grylls meme improvise adapt overcome and that's what I did today sure you were only planned for 30 minutes you have an hour and 30 minutes with these students so you better make it count that's what i did and we were coloring ice cream cones and then after that we watched ted ed riddles and we were solving more moral dilemmas that sparked some good discussion from a bunch of students i never i probably will never teach this year maybe next year um but it was an intellectual way to kill time instead of just us all sitting and staring at each other. I guess I could have done more like team building icebreakers, but these students are gonna have so many icebreaker, find someone who bingo, two, two three truths and a lie or whatever. They're gonna have so much of that in the next like week. Sometimes they just need something to, to do that doesn't involve bingo. So that was my day today. I still have not gotten my coffee maker um, set up in my on my desk. I was supposed to bring in my water bottles this morning, but then again, I was also supposed to have this extra time in the morning because I was supposed to get here early. So that's pretty much that's pretty much how my day went. I did participate in the the teacher versus student dance off in the freshman pep rally today and that was interesting. I usually participate um, just because I, I was a gymnast and a cheerleader and I can flip and even though I can't dance to save my life, I can just throw in a cartwheel or a back handspring in there and then that's just enough as my contribution to the dance off. This year I had chosen beforehand I was not gonna participate because I didn't want to rip my khakis. The pair I'm wearing today, I had another pair that ripped um, just from normal wear. So I just didn't want to do that. And also I'm just not as flexible as I used to be with flipping and stuff. So I was just going to be like, nope, not, not this year. The heads of the dance program here was like, hey, you should come over here. And then I was like, no, it's okay. And then there was like three teachers out there that was it and there was like all these there was probably like 15 students all and three teachers and then my former administrator she's now over i think science but she comes over and she grabs me and she's like we need you and then i was like okay i will participate in this dance off because my administrator asked me to so i did and i did not throw back handspring as usual but a couple cartwheels a handstand a little bit of some moves in there I guess was enough so I did my duty and then I was super sweaty because the air conditioner as always is not working effectively so yeah that was my day for tomorrow I have planned so tomorrow is my actual first day with my students tomorrow I'm teaching all 10th grade and then the next day I'm teaching two sections of 12 and one sections of 10th um, so tomorrow it's just me my first period is an honors class and then third and fourth is my standard classes. Um, second period is my planning. So tomorrow what we have in the schedule is they're gonna come in, 
find their seat. So they have their desk labels put together. I don't know if I've showed you guys my desk labels yet, but they're little mason jars with numbers on them and a letter also for letter grouping. If I want to group them in five, I believe, or six, they go to a certain corner of the room for their letter. But anyway, so tomorrow they're going to find their desk and I'm going to be introducing myself. So I have like a little PowerPoint of pictures that kind of introduce me as a teacher. Then they're gonna introduce themselves to the class. So a little bit of speaking and listening skills. They're gonna stand up and they're gonna say like, do they prefer M&Ms or Skittles? So that's like an easy, low risk question. And then number three, something that they did this summer. Um, that way there's like really low risk involved in sharing, but they're used to standing up, speaking, and the rest of the class is listening to them and giving them kind of the spotlight. After that, we're gonna do our first day station activities, and I showed that to you guys before. Um, it's really cool this year because they have their Bitmoji, or they have my Bitmoji on them as well as my co-teacher. And it's just a lot of different things about what they value in a teacher, what they would do on a deserted island, all kinds of stuff, what their favorite animal is. So that's gonna get them up and moving around the room with some time constraints and talking to each other. The third thing on the agenda is they're going to be doing an All About Me poster. So this is something that they kind of launched in our rotation, our, our teacher rotation sessions and the value of community, introducing that on the first day as opposed to slamming the syllabus in their faces or telling them open up your books to page five in your textbook. This is kind of getting the student involved in the classroom, in the lesson. Each group has a bin that has materials in it to be creating a poster. I'm supposed to share the one I made during PD, so this is what mine looks like. It's actually, I should just pull this out. It was poorly laminated by some of our administration. Um, so this is like my All About Me poster. I throw it together really quick in a session, but like I included um, my name on it. I like surprises. I like the unlikely, um, except for when you lose your rings randomly. I don't like that. Um, English, I'm in M212. I put my dogs Finley and Zara on there and Donut and I like hand lettering and my husband. So these are just like things about me. You can put goals, uh, background, family, friends, hobbies, all of that, uh, all of that stuff. So all my students have the materials. My department chair bought those for us to provide for them. And then they go ahead and create their own all about me poster. I'll probably laminate them and put them up. Maybe I'll hang them from the ceiling just to bring in that sense of community and culture into my class from day one. So that's pretty much it for today. I definitely did not start the day off well, but once I got kind of in there meeting the students and started, I, I really feel like I'm settling into the school year pretty well despite drama. What I would like to hear from you is what are your first day stories? Um, how did you get to know your students right off the bat? or what's a crazy story that happened to you on the first day of school, like losing your wedding rings or whatever. Um, I would love to hear, maybe be encouraged by other people's stories, um, but also what are you doing with your students to en encourage school, community, and culture. All right guys, remember learn often, teach well. I will see you in my next video.